What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a playing card review. And this one here is the missing piece playing cards. And this is the first ever deck produced by the world famous Virgin Magician, or known to his friends as Piggate. You can say what you want about Pigface, as many people on the internet have done, hidden behind keyboards, calling them names and saying stuff that isn't very nice. After spending a few days with him, I'm happy to tell you all of these rumors are true. He is in fact a massive magic virgin. The knowledge and skills that this little man possesses is absolutely incredible. If you name a trick, a routine or a slight, he can probably tell you where it's come from or have at least have some knowledge on it and will probably know the said trick or alternatives. I think he's highly misunderstood as a person and a magician and I think that he doesn't get enough credit for what he does for the magic community and also the knowledge that he shares. So that's enough from the script that Piggy wrote for me to say, now on to the deck of cards. So this is a deck of cards which came to life from a Kickstarter campaign and I placed my pledge on the evening that the Kickstarter went live so I could nab a deck of these and try and help Piggy and try and get the project funded, which of course it did. There was a $12,000 goal which was set on Kickstarter and the project managed to get $12,484 which means it was fully funded and it came to life. So how much do these bad boys cost? I opted in for the two deck tier which is $26, so $13 a deck for those who aren't good with maths. There was of course shipping on top of this as well but the decks themselves cost that much. If you missed out on the Kickstarter then you can head over to UME Playing Cards and grab a deck from there for £12.12. and pence. If you're there, then why not get some Bin Wang playing cards from the site too? They're good as well, apparently. Let's talk about the tuck case. The front of the tuck case features the missing piece text at the top, along with the original pink version text underneath that. At the bottom of the front, it has the number 54 and top quality playing cards. The sides and the top don't have any text on, but follow the color of the deck around the, uh, the box itself. The bottom of the tuck case has the USPCC add copy to, the tuck flap doesn't feature any logos or text on there either, it's completely blank. The back of the cards are made up of the pink, white and vanilla yellow cake colours which features a single piece of cake on the back and some lines coming from the cake and it's the same on both sides of the back of the card and of course this piece of cake is the missing piece from the pig cake. The colours and design feels very 80s retro which blends in well with Piggy's channel and the style that he's got on the intro of his videos etc. As you can see too, it's got a nice white border around the outside. For additional cards that come with the deck, you get a blank playing card and also three jokers. That's right, three jokers. One of the jokers has a full missing piece from the cake. The next one has a little bit taken out from it, like it's been eaten. And then the third joker has just a tiny piece of cake left on the card. You could, these, you could use these for possibly showing the piece of cake and then with a swish of the hand, you could change the color for the other one which has had a, a bite bitten out of it and then lastly the one with the crumbs left. All of the faces on these cards are completely custom and don't have any standard bicycle faces on them. The hearts and diamonds are the bright pink colour and the clubs and spades are a brown colour. Very similar to a well cooked cake if you wish. All of the court cards feature the retrospective Jack, Queen and King as a baker, complete with baking tools and forks in their hands and even some of them have cake all over their face. There's also a custom Ace of Spades too, which features the Ace and the pink over the top of it. It sort of looks like a Sunday with a candle in it, and also the, the Ace Pips has the, the goo dripping off them. All of the Kings also have the Piggy's nose on them too, which is held on by a string. How do they handle? 
they sort of feel a, a bit like Pig Kicks 50k face reveal video. Disappointing. <laughs> good. They handle like you'd expect from any USB CC deck, silky, smooth and fantastic cards to handle. You can shuffle them great, they ferro very easily and you can use it for all sorts of card tricks, slides and other moves that you want to use the cards for as well because of the, the standard USB CC finish. So throughout the video there's been some positives and I just want to touch on one negative which is just a personal preference for me and it's the number four on the playing cards. If you know that it's a 4 then you're spot on with it but I think the little line between the two big lines needed to be a bit thicker so at the minute for me it just looks a bit like a squiggle but that's just personal preference. No offence Piggy as the rest of the deck is great. The deck is a great one and definitely be something that I use in future videos and things because it's a really unique and colourful design so if that's something that you're looking for which has got a custom face cards as well and some bright colours then why not give it a try. Some advice at the end of the video is what Piggy always does and before I filmed this video I decided to try and give him a FaceTime so I could personally ask for some advice. Hey Siri, FaceTime Pig Cake. Starting a FaceTime call to Pig Cake Mobile. <laughs> didn't answer and then when I texted him still didn't answer. Eventually answered and the advice was non-existent so if you're looking for some advice from Piggy then don't bother to be fair. He's probably too busy making love to his sofa right now to be bothered with anything. Such a wealth of knowledge this little man is and this time last year we were down at Peter Turner's sleeping on camp beds in the sitting room. He didn't touch me inappropriately so either because his virgin brain didn't think about it or I'm too tall and hairy to be his daddy and we'll completely dominate him. So either way this man has some incredible magic knowledge so check out Pick Academy or his YouTube channel from the links in description below. Until next time. See ya. Oh, oh so nice. Thank you, guys. Wow. Oh, the sportler. Whoa. Sportler here. Wow. Well, thank you, guys. Well, oh, my, it's, it is my birthday. Wow, thank you, guys. This is the worst. <laughs> you got a bigger blow than that. I do, I do, that's what I do. Thank you Blowing so much. How did you, how did you know? <laughs> oh my God.